And just like that, we're back. MTTE, More to the Ends podcast with myself, Big Cam. And today, as per usual, not by myself in the building. Who else we got in the building? <laughs> He's on his own, man. Jay Ghost, <laughs> in the building, you know. Freaky stand up. Mm. Wow. Come, we got you, man, Jay, on the building. Wow. You got B Money in the building. Listen, <laughs> he's not. He's trying to do like the little B-Money calm thing. Building. He's no, trying okay, to do the I calm thing. I don't know how it goes. I Look, don't know how I'm supposed to personally, be like, some... even though B Money may he may not even know this, but I kind of see him as a friend of the show because when he was in our old studio, as we said, we was talking about before, he actually pulled up, showed us love, and he actually had one of our most popular episodes. So yeah. hmm. shout out to B Money. Um, We're back again. Sorry, Go ahead. One more thing. He probably forgot, but he stuck to his words. When I bucked him at Carnival, he said he's going to be back. And here he is. He's back. I was burst. You know what I was You know what I was You know what I was I saw you Best earlier when I got there, but I just moved the in. I do not yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do funny. remember. I do remember. That's crazy. Of course, but you know what's mad, yeah? Cool. I know you're introducing your pod, but whatever, innit? Show love to people who show you love, innit? Word, At the dude. end of the day, like, even back then, when man invited me on the pod, like, cool. If other people ain't doing it and someone actually sees some value in you, yeah, bro, go away. What did they say? Go where you're appreciated. Go where you're not appreciated, bro. not where you're needed. Bruv, that is very, very Fast. big. That's a very big deal. And obviously, you're actually active on the socials at this moment in yeah, time doing yeah, your stuff. Yeah. But we're going to get into that. Yeah. We're going to get into that. Actually, no. Let's get into it straight away. Forget all the, the jargon. No, let's jargon small, man. Jargon small. Yeah, man. All right, cool. So... Obviously, we've got our resident relationship expert, B-Money, here. Yeah. I've got a few questions that I wanted to ask him because, as I said from last time, he has his own opinion and he's not afraid to share it, whereas a lot of people are, innit? Nice. Question, yeah? And this is for everyone. Your gang pull up. Yeah. Are you going to back your brethren? Um, ooh. Okay. Do you think Mandem value themselves highly enough? Meaning? Meaning... Do you think Mandem, like, rate themselves enough to decide not to do stuff when it comes to relationships is what I'm obviously referencing. So say, for example, a man might want to say to his gal, rah, like, I don't think you should do X, Y, Z, but he's afraid and he kind of just for the... For happy the, wife, happy life. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of getting along with. Do you mm. think Mandem do that too much? I don't think it's a case of um, man them not rating themselves. I think it's a case of women gaslighting men, but no one ever calling it out. Women Ooh. gaslight a lot. And, um, this nigga spitting. It's not even that they just gaslight. It's, it's a common thing where like, I say, you know, so, oh, I'll just give you a mad example. I say women are just as creepy as men, but because they're not seen as threats, <laughs> no one calls them out on it. The fact that a woman will go through your phone while you're sleeping, chat, open your eyelid, like all of that is, is all of that is toxic <laughs> behaviour. <laughs> Oh, like, your woman's trying to go through your phone what, for your, the facial that's it, yeah. That's it. yeah. That's it. Or she's trying to learn your passcode you're on your phone you're trying to be in your own world she's over your shoulder trying to see what you're doing in there like obviously not everyone's like that but mm-hmm. the fact that those little behaviours are like accepted oh that's what just what men do like nah so basically man them are taught like oh yeah you know you never win an argument with a woman rare, 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 rare. so they kind of just be like okay so it's not like they don't rate themselves they rate their peace more so I think they lay but if you're talking about in another sense like you know some mad Charlie Mace just put out a little clip on his Insta talking about man them not rating themselves and the fact that they might be like have a plan but mm. yo just come here and ruin your plan because she's you might be like yeah man for 30 days I'm not doing nothing this I'm not doing that a girl will just come out of nowhere hey boo what are you doing and the man will just cancel you know all plans for madness man's trying to pam and then yeah. I, feel, yeah. I feel like men lose their morals for girls still mm. like they lose their you know talk I mean? about like, it talk about you know, it you like you're you was grown a certain way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've seen it, bro. I've seen men lose their morals for gal, but I, depends I guess, what I morals we're talking about. Though, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. no, no. <laughs> like, yeah. like you know, like you will be around like your friends and that. So yeah. it, I'm not even talking about a social. I'm talking about close friends. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. you will say, nah, I would never do something like. Yeah. That. Mm. And then you meet that girl, or or that person meets that girl, and you you see them doing that, and you say to them, bro, you said you wouldn't do shit. Like but what that. is that? Give me an example of the thing that we're talking about. Because are we talking about sexual acts? Are we talking about behavior? Are we talking about for, for sexual acts? That's that's anyone's business. Okay, you double texting. Yeah, that, you know, she cheated on you. I'll never let a girl that, cheat on me. Yeah, that that shit like that. Yeah, but you never know what you're gonna do until you're in a situation. It's right. easy. Okay, to to what I'm <laughs> I would tell you, I can never run from beef. I can never do the 
when it's on top, you like, oh, wait, I've got a foot under the dashing. There's certain beef you have to run from. It's, it, it, and it, it, it logically makes sense. Yeah. You've got to run. <laughs> of Otherwise, course. die, innit? Like, die. But, but the point is, <laughs> just die. You know, like, man, and watch clips on YouTube or they see situations where people talking stuff on blogs. Oh, if that was me, it could never be me. I would mm. never. You don't know what you'd ever do until you're in that situation. Brother, I don't, I don't never say, I, I don't really say never shit say like never. that still. Yeah. I don't, uh, no, you don't. I've been in a lot of do. situations yeah. where it tests your, it tests your heart, bro. Yeah. You get me? I've been yeah. in situations that test his man's heart. Yeah. And I've seen man crumble, bro. Yeah. I've seen niggas crumble. But, it, but that's what I'm you saying. So take it back to what you said where you're, someone's in, the, in front of the boys. Nah, I'm, I'm this way. I'm doing this. These are my rules. These are my morals. Mm. Then they meet someone and they end up in a situation where those morals and rules, it said, are you really about that or what do you think now? Do you know or they what? change? Sometimes it's not even a thing of They've said it to you. Sometimes it's a thing of like, you've known and grown with this person. It's how they move. And you would never expect them to be doing what they're doing uh, for bro. this person. Or, do you get yeah, what I'm saying? Or yeah. that person. You get it? Yeah. That's that's how I feel. I've been in a lot of situations like that. Still. So what about you, man? What do you reckon? Do you think man them rate themselves enough to like prioritise their... Basically, that's what I'm asking. Do you think man them prioritise themselves enough? Or do you think man them fall to the nani and just start moving it? I think it's a bit 50-50 still. Mm. It's a bit 50-50. Why you say that? Because I've seen, like like Ross said, I've seen people who are folded Mm. And I've seen people. I've seen people who haven't folded. Bro, so, I said, like bro, I got, I got family members that chat shit to gal to get nani. That yeah. I'm, and and it's gal that I'm not even fucking. Mm. I'm not interested in fucking. I have no interest. Oh, in, you, you get what I'm saying? Dirty, dirty but you're, you're talking. You're spitting certain things that that person doesn't necessarily need to hear, bro. Mm. You get it? I know man that does that. You know, fam. That's mm. mad, bro. All right. So let me flip. Are just show off then. Or, the, or it's not even a show. No, them men are kind of like simping. Yeah, they're kind of sell out. You're talking about, yeah, you're talking about really. your family member mm. to somebody that shouldn't. That's dirty Mackin. Know about you. Dirty Mackin. Brother, yeah. come on, bro. That's mad, fam. Nah, I've, that's never been a part of my story, still. I've never been on a vibe. Brother, I've had family members that do that to man, fam. That's wild. Why bro. are you talking about me, but, bro? All right, so <laughs> what about on the flip side, yeah? Do you think, and I'm going to word it this way specifically, yeah? Do you think Gallem are... Do you think Gallem have enough humility? Me and... Do you think that they're realistic with their expectations? They're real about what they can offer. They're honest about these things. Or do you think they just think, raw? I want this. If you ain't got it, tough. I think most people are real on, in real life. I think most people are not in, online. Mm. I think people's online persona and real life persona are two different things. Mm. And again, even when you say Yalem, I know you're not saying every, but just to spell it out for, we're not talking about every single girl no, because man. of course there's mm. normal girl. And who's to say what humble is and what's not humble? Like no. have all the standards you want in a life, of have course. all the expectations and demands you want. Reality is going to slap you in the face. And at the end of the day, <laughs> we can all know our worth or claim to know our, our worth or state our value, but it, it's down to whether the other person is interested in buying. If I tell you, this thing that I'm offering you is worth a bag. Mm. You're going to look at it and be like, a bag? Oh, no, G. There's so, you know, there's someone else's. Uh, so that's the same thing. Girls can have, you can have all the standards. You can think you deserve the world, mm. but we're going to see if the world is given to you. And that's mm. it. So I'd, I'd, do they have enough humility? I think it's just like, it's, it's, the, it's the group mentality, isn't it? Everyone chats Hive shit. Hive mentality. Like, every girl wants a tall girl, but man, rare, rare, rare. But then there might In be their, their little five, seven king on their wedding day. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I yeah. said five seven king. Reality, but you get what I'm saying. Reality <laughs> yeah. sets in. Reality sets in. <laughs> I said the five seven. You know, king, I, yeah. it went off like okay, it. I was like, this guy. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, yeah, gang <laughs> shit. <laughs> but, but that's the reality. You know, there's bare girls who say, "How tall are you?" Five seven. Okay, calm. But no homo, you're a good looking you, bro. Like if a girl will chat shit, oh, I want tall guys. You will mack a girl in the club, and everyone, her brother, like, I sweat. That, that's just a life. That's life. A man can say, "I want even a badiana, badiana, baby mama." Is a horror. Did you get yeah, it? So I asked the girl that the other day, you know. Mm. I said, I said, why are you looking? I said, what are you actually looking for? Like, because you're saying you want a man, mm -hmm. but what are you looking for? Are you looking for a tall man, mm. or are you looking for a man mm. that does? It doesn't matter how tall he is. That it's just treats that just treats you better. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? That that's a good man, or are you just looking for a tall man? She was a tall man. You get what I'm so saying? Well. And then she said to me, "What did she say?" She said um, something like. The reason why she's looking for a tall man mm. is because she's five ten. Mm. That's fair. <laughs> okay, that she, makes sense. She said it will feel. It, she felt it would feel awkward to her yeah. dating somebody that's shorter. Sure, than her. That's fair. Do you get I, what I'm saying? I, I saw a pod the other day. 
And the girl, she was 5'10", actually, mm. conveniently. And she said... Do you think that's tall for a girl? It is. 5'10". It is. It is. Oh, that is, is. that is a... Because... Man said, oh, listen, listen. So, she, so she's 5'10", yeah? <laughs> she said she... De- she <laughs> said, oh, oh, that is... Like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what are you doing up there? <laughs> Man said, oh, that is... Look, but you see, that's the thing with go, me, go. bruv. I'm, I'm... I'm what? A couple centimetres from 5'10". Yeah? yeah? Five I don't... Nine. I don't, I don't, I, I'm closer to 5'10". Like, <laughs> I'm 5'9 and 7 quarters. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you see me Sorry, as a man, fun. yeah? Mm. I don't, obviously, I'm not, I don't, this is this is my opinion. This is how I see things. I don't care how tall a girl is, you know, fam. No, bro, I ain't moving no six foot. Shout like, out to the Amazonian yeah, women out there. Do you get what I'm saying? Like WNBA pussy the fuck out of Do you get what I'm saying? I don't care, I don't personally care how tall a girl is. Shout out to the BBWs. You can wife a girl that's much taller than you. Yeah. Wife. All right. Definitely. Uh, wait, 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 wait. So back to the, the pod, yeah. This guy was 5'10. She said that she dated a guy that was 5'4. Mm. It was in a club. And what happened was they was at the bar. Some next youth has come up. Oh my God. Why are you lot making faces? Yeah, I already know, know the vibes, guy. bro. 5'4 is really listen, short. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> she was dating a baddie. Go what she did? You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. What's she doing? She was dating a baddie, you know. Yeah. Listen. So <laughs> you were five four. They were at the bar getting drinks. Some next you has come up. Let's just assume Tall. he's six foot or yeah. whatever. And he's looked at him. Mm. He's looked at her, and he's told the girl, "That's not your man." Mm. Damn. He's told her, "That's not your man." Mm. And she said, and this is where like. Hey, you see after that wait, 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 the, club, the whole relationship is going to crumble but, right, you know that right but this is this. Right, you see that you speech that, night. that conversation is going to be brought wait, up so, so this, this, is, this is the pivotal moment because what happened was <laughs> well, in that yeah, moment I don't know what her response to that was he didn't say anything the mm. five foot he, did, he didn't like so he looked even smaller <laughs> yeah like, like, he did, did say? but no obviously she's gone on a vibe of like rah like that is my man like, kind of trying to back it kind of vibe but he's not really said nothing Obviously, on yeah, yeah. safe to say that never worked out. Oh, That's what she on said. Bar stool, look that man in his face. Brother, <laughs> brother. You know, if if I was that guy, I would have probably turned around, slapped her ass in front of him, and said, "That's me, bro." Yeah. So, like, I've mm. got her. Like, I know you want her, but psh, mm. tough. Like, I would have, I would have done something to back my thing in it. Yeah. But what I wanted to focus on with saying all of that is. I don't think that most girls really would have a genuine, genuine issue with it. Only when you're provided with them situations and you don't really show what you're made of. Because if you're... I know, I've got a couple short brethren, like, not just E, man. But I've got a couple <laughs> short brethren. And then... <laughs> Shout, no. out, shout out Short United, man. Listen, yeah, yeah short, short FC, short man FC. Oh, come on, man. No, I've got a couple short brethren mm. and... From when I was younger, them and been getting girl, and they don't give a shit about height. They, they do their thing, and they go every, mm. like, they they just do shot. what they yeah. do, Snipers. and that's what I've seen. Girl, rate they, yeah. it's about your aura and your confidence. But yeah, I just mm. wanted to tell Listen, you. Women are easy to say, twang, man. Come on, there, TK. What one? Yeah. When? I guess it was short. TK, is it TK? Oh, CK. CK. Yeah, CK. CK, he lined himself up nice. Come on, man. Do you get it? Do you get it? He knows his thing. He, he, he knows his thing. Shout out nice. CK, my guy. Come on. Come on man. Shout him out. Listen, all right, cool. Let's go with this then, yeah? Mm. What do you think is the issue with, like, modern relationships these days? Because, and I, I, say, I say it like this because... Obviously, we've seen the socials. You probably know people in your life. Like, there's always these issues. Oh, my man don't do this, or my gal don't do this, or my man's not working hard enough at that, or my gal doesn't do this. Like, what do you not think are some fundamental issues in modern relationships? I think think a lot of people are just going with the narrative. Mm. You see, like, a lot of girls Mm. are just onto this, oh, I want a tall man. Fuck, a nigga get some money. (laughs) some, Some girls actually, some girls, so some girls that actually is what they're actually looking for. To mm. other girls, it's just, they want to say it because other girls are saying it. Mm. They don't even, like, they've That's not been their story. happy, they've been happy with men that are probably their height, just a little bit taller than them, etc, etc. Women yeah, want to fit what in I'm saying? as bad as They men don't men. exactly what? need a six foot man to be happy. Women want to fit in too, so they say what yeah. other women are saying. Like, That's look, what I don't They look at what the cool chick is like, saying and they just follow a lot yeah. of them. That's, That's what I was going to say. I feel like social media plays a big part of it because everyone's just trying to be like, 
who they see on social media. Because it's growing them, bro. Everyone's being influenced by the influencers. Social the influencers. media is raising these but, people, bro. But can I just add in, yeah, like, it's a bit of everything. So I don't want to focus too much on women or whatever. Like, it's... it's, it's I believe it goes from both sides. Bro. Yeah, that's, yeah, what, that's, yeah. What, I was, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, like, it's not really... I don't think nothing has really changed. I think the only thing that's changed is that there's bigger platforms to amplify everybody's views about mm-hmm. dating. Mm-hmm. More so echo what happens is a little clip of <laughs> our conversation about dating goes out. If it works, it becomes a conversation. Everyone's talking, everyone's angry. Mm. And really and truly, most people don't... Most of the demands is never... We have different phases. One time it's about black men treating black women and it's about men don't express their emotions. Their men are too emotional. Mm. Or women and just, just... And we're seeing what's happening in different parts of the world. So everybody wants to basically build a bitch or build a man. Like, we want to build the best bitch. What did you get like all that stuff? Like that's air, but to me that's American <laughs> sickness. Passport, there's a lot of American sickness. Uh, elaborate. You don't know about passport, yeah, bro. Know about passport, bro. Right, hold up. We got to go. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Fact, is it what? Is it what I think of it? Go on, what do you think? What do you think it is? What people people marrying or getting together for papers? No, no. 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 Oh, it's okay. basically <laughs> man. And, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. The opinion I get of it from the very brief because I saw a moment when it went viral. The very brief understanding I have of it is basically. Hot, like, uh, what would you call? What would I call it? Someone who's like burnt, like jaded men, men who felt like they weren't getting <laughs> love from their team. man wasn't getting no none. Yeah, so basically they're not talking about like, oh yeah, this is why you gotta go Colombia. The women are submissive; they show love. They're buff. They're ten. You ain't getting oh, love. Bare man are yeah. in Philippines. You know? Yeah, they're <laughs> men are. Oh, like, yeah, I mean, oh. bare man are guy in Thailand. Thailand. Getting their feet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, no, they're, they're going. That's what they're going. So, and but them basically. You when me. you deep it, what these men are really saying is man's not really getting no play, so I'm flying out and banging prozies and I'm calling it passport rolls. <laughs> yeah. Like, so, all right, so... Damn. To, again, because we said on the last pod, but to clarify with this uh, passport bro stuff, the basic level of it is man them from the West, so that would be obviously your Americas, Canada, UK, blah de blah de blah over here, looking around, going, do you know what? I don't even like the dating market here. I don't like the gal them. I don't like how they move so out the here. They want the boss status too much. Yeah. They, 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 <laughs> they want to be in a relationship and be the boss. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah. They're saying that certain things is not how they would like it to be. Mm. So they're flying out to DR, Philippines, Thailand, Colombia, and they're saying raw. Developing countries. Yeah. The third world countries <laughs> where obviously the gal them are more than likely poorer. Hardship. Hardship. <laughs> And, and they're that's, saying, "Raw." That's what the gallery over here saying. Basically, you're gonna you're gonna like appreciate how... my five pound. Yeah, <laughs> <The gallop. laughs> you're gonna appreciate this. That's a turn one into bitch. two. The gallery from, gallop from the first world countries yeah. are saying, "Raw." The only reason why the gallery are having it over there is because they're in poverty and that. Right. So, I, while we're here, we're talking about that. <laughs> I don't personally well, that's think that. That's, that's like going back to Nigeria. And I don't think that. Raw. Why not? The gallery like me because yeah. I got pee, but yeah. it's only because they're in poverty. Is it mm. right or wrong to say? Wait, wait, hold on. It's too difficult. Wait, hold on. It's not wrong, but go on. So, so I, 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 this I is my opinion. Yeah? Is it man, obviously you think man's, it's right or wrong to say that? Th- what, what, you, do you wanna? Because it happens in yard too. I don't listen. It's not right or wrong. You basically, it's just economy. If I if over here you want you want a winning man, I'm not a winning man to you. Okay, well I'm gonna go win in this team. If I can't <laughs> win in this league, yeah. I'm going to China. Exactly. Exactly. If you can't win the prem, I'm fuck it. I'm going to MLS and I'm gonna win the MLS. Yeah, you can call it. What do you not call it? What do you not, what do you not call them cups so you don't rate it? If, oh, what league cup and that? Yeah, league I'm cup and that. Them, Europa league and that. Them charity cups. Them charity cup and that. Don't worry. Community shield and that. But I'm winning. Just to finish off with that passport yeah, stuff, I do I do agree with you that there is like say fifty percent of those guys that if they were back over here or mm. wherever, you're just a waste man anyway. So you wasn't gonna get no one anyway. But the other fifty percent is proper guys that like decent dudes, decent jobs, respectable looking that are looking <laughs> around saying, Do you know what? I'm not gonna lie. For what I can get for my fifty grand wage here, I'm going over there and I'm gonna get a proper nice gal that's gonna listen to me at least and at least cook something for me man's mad bro. do you get it they fortunately talk, that's not my story I think that's nuts yeah. I think it's crazy car. niggas niggas talking shit over here talking about they don't want to spend money on gal that they don't know of. I've just met you I don't want to spend money on you but you're looking to spend ticket money on gal that you don't know but do you know what it is yeah? I'll be honest here yeah. I'm like, not doing that no, bro no, I've never no. even thought of that you know, gal is gal innit wherever you go gal is you're gal you're right yeah but do you know what's mad yeah, yeah? yeah. I think summer is when it hit me where like maybe I'm a passport brokers. Like, <laughs> maybe I'm a passport bro. Listen, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm a passport bro who just hasn't travelled. But like <laughs> somebody hit me like I'm outside, I'm meeting girls, I'm like, raw, like 
I don't even want to like regurgitate this kind of stuff that people say, but it's just felt mm. like I was meeting the same girl everywhere I went. When I'm saying meeting the same girl, obviously I have a type, like I like nice girls, but like a nice girl obviously has more capital. Do you know what I mean? She has more say and rare, rare, rare. But what I was finding more than anything is that the interest, it wasn't exciting. It was more so what can you do for me? Or, okay, even if they're not saying it like this, it's more so like, yeah, I need a man who's going to take me out. Do, 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 do. Like, you know, it's just almost like very transactional in a sense of, it just wasn't fun, innit? I just, that was just my limited experience of being outside. And I thought, you know what? I just want to go on holiday. I want to hear American girls just rapping to Lil Baby and Moneybag Yo and twerking, bro. <laughs> Where, and if they, just, if they just like my British accent, it's cool. I'll take you know that for what? a week. You know what? You know what? I be in the loop. Yeah. She be in the loop. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Rapping to and just being friendly. Like, you know what just, hit me? Mm, you see like that? That, that post that guy done when he went to different countries. Mm, uh. Or he went, not, not even different countries. A he white went guy? To, no, I think okay. it was a black dog. What do you he do? went to different countries saying like, Rod, right, if the females in, in other countries mm. are way more friendly and stuff. Oh, and you're talking about that mixed issue? I, I don't I remember what country issue. I think it was a mixed issue. Yeah. yeah. But he was saying like, Rod, right, I done... I done certain things in England mm. and it just wasn't happening. Mm. Mm. I done certain things in other countries like France, Italy, etc. And these people were much more. I think it's the culture, it's yeah. Because even too. London, we have a culture. Yeah, they're the much UK more is bad open. Vibes, they're much more friendly as if bad even vibes, just to talk to. You need a, you need to get a T-shirt that says "UK is bad vibes" because you, you actually reiterate it, but you're bro, so true. I, though. I see a next so thing. True. I think it was. It might have even been the same guy. I see a next thing, yeah, where he was bad just vibes, going around. Man. And he was hoping it was the Swiss. He was hoping, yeah, he was yeah, hoping yeah, that he was kind of spudding. Oh them. my yeah. days. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he yeah. tried that over Bam. here. People looked at him like Bam. he had COVID. Bam, I said, man didn't nah. even acknowledge yeah, he existed. Yeah. Man said, just looked through nah. him. You see what yeah, I'm saying, bro? That's bro, you see, when he was then. in the other country, Bad everyone was like, that's true. you get me, but. I don't know, maybe yeah, that's don't, new to I it. think even on a, like, even forget girls and men, like, we don't even just say hello to each other in London, like, on the tube, like, to the point where if somebody was to nod their head at me, like, what, are you, doing, at, what are you doing, bro? Like, not man them, man them, I expect a little, oh, well, gone. Yeah. But, like, if a random person just, like, said, I promise you, if a girl said hello to me tomorrow, I think she's in trouble, fam. Because, like, or she's what, trying what, to lie what to annoyed me, yeah? Because I said, like, do you know how many times <laughs> like, I'm like, she just escaped. Yeah, like, no. she, like, help me, sort of thing. Because there's so many times when I'm walking around, I'm thinking, am I clapped? Because bare girls just screw me, bro. Like, I'll be walking and girls just frown. I'm like, fam, like, I'm not buzzed. Like, what's going on? Girls would just be like, and I don't know if it's like, I don't know. Are they they, they reflecting my face or is that just what they do? But like, they'll see, I can't count, I can't count, yeah, in a year, how many times the girls walk past me, just like, you know, smiled, Mm. hi, just hi. Like, we don't have to talk to each other, but like, it's never in my gym, the Mm. same girls I see every day. I'm just like, bro, not even hello. That's so that's right, London. See, I, bro, I get it. That's why, remember when I told you that story the other day? I was going in the same bro. Yeah. The girl yeah. was on the other side on the, the, oh, the escalator yeah, going yeah. down, and I was going up. I, she was on her phone. I weren't really concentrating on yeah, her. But just caught. Because she got loud, yeah. I, started, I looked over at her. You get me? You see, as I came to her, mm. but I, I promise you, this is it, was sh- it shocked the shit out of me. Mm. She, she weren't, no, she weren't mad. She weren't looking at me at yeah. all. But the way she done it was mad, bro. It's like, she was on the phone. And then as soon as we kind of came parallel, she stopped and said, listen, you're beautiful, you know? You see, in another life, you would have been my husband. I promise you. Raved it. And she just carried on. I said... Yeah, that's good. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, lit. Said, wait, wait, wait a minute. Thing. I said, this is Hold up, player. <laughs> you think I won't slide down? <laughs> And then she just carried on walking. So I'm looking back and she she looked back at me. She said, I promise you. And then carried on walking. I said, I promise you right <laughs> now. I said, this is so I said, this that I promise you would have made me go down for you. said, this is crazy, crazy, bro. But do you know what's mad? That's... That, that's a yeah, little bit no. of attention. Do you know what that does for a man, fam? Bro, because we don't. Brother, bro, it gives you like that. Like little, brother, full like the like Listen, yeah. The other day, and I can say this. I know my guy's not gonna mind. The other day, sometimes you need a compliment. My guy's brethrens, they're lesbians. Yeah. They was like, bro, like obviously it's my first time meeting you, but like you're a really attractive guy. Like mm. I was like, bro, like. You look at your girl like, when's the last time you said that to me? Yeah, bro? I was like, no, this is kind of mad. Like, you hearing? hold you on hearing? a minute. That's how you do it. Hold on, hold on a minute. But like, like, what? Lesbian saying that I'm attractive? Yeah, you, you don't can't chat for me now. What? Like, you know, you know, my head will be so You can't shut up. My mind would have went somewhere else. No, but you know what they said? They said, they said, if, 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 if we do do it for Eason. Oh my days, fuck it. <laughs> Listen, I told you. Don't let the missus hear this pod, boy. It's long. But like, no, no, just to quickly touch on that, yeah. yeah. Like, I, bro, I totally agree with you. Like, I always just say, like, fam, if if sometimes 
like the last thing I don't know one, one guy I was ch- chatting to like I was getting to the point where it's time to go out on a date mm. and I thought right in the, in the two weeks that like, we've been talking first of all it's been two weeks like damn you ain't called me once you mm. ain't messaged me once you ain't asked me mm. how was my day I didn't even like that question but you even asked me how was my day how was no work. but it means you something ain't though. For man. Yeah. you ain't even tried to get to know me and I'm about to take you out so this is this is what I said I'm at be a passport bro so now I'm about to take See? you out and spend inflation is hit so I'm about to spend the best part of two bills on you because that's what a date is costing this day. Well, it's costing over £100. How much does the average person... How long does it take the average person to make £100 after tax? So you're spending a day plus wage for most people on a date for someone who hasn't even... And this is what you said about man and value yourself. It's like, has this person even shown enough interest for you to justify taking them out? Because even if you just want the none, like even if you just want to chop, has this person even shown enough interest in you for you to justify... Spending all that man money. Didn't even I don't s- think so. Man didn't even ask you, right? Like, have, you had, have, you had, have you had breakfast? I said, I said, you know what? I don't feel like you put enough effort in, so I'm not going to see you tomorrow. Come on. <laughs> that that I point that. is... Yeah. That, that's so that. big, that. though. I told her, I, I said, I, I still so think big. you're beautiful. I, I think you're that. really nice, girl. That. And if you want to chat to me in the future, put in some effort. Nope. Bitch, how you need a cut it. Is, bruv, yeah, this is that. this is why I ask the questions I ask on both sides mm. about humility mm. and man rating themselves enough because again, shout out all the gal them out there that are doing their thing, the ones that are in relationships, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. We ain't really talking about you. We're just talking about the dating market and how as a man, from your perspective, I can imagine if you're grafting a girl, you message her every other day, you're chatting to her, you're genuinely trying to get to know her. And as you said, be money, you you step back a bit and you go, hold on a minute. She We've been speaking me? for 14 days and not once have you ever said, raw like, have you eaten today? Like, are you cool? Like, I know you're working, but separately from work, how are you as a get person? Get to know me. Do you get what I'm saying? And this goes back to, I'm sorry, I'm always the, man, the men's advocate. Bruv, it's a lonely experience as a man sometimes, you know. So. It's a very long, like, man's not asking you, Ra, how's your day or are you okay or are you going to be able to sort out X, Y, Z? No one really gives a shit. Apart the from sad thing is that the people that's doing it is never the ones that you look like the face of, man. Like, the girls in the gym that's always showing love, I'm like, do you think I worked this hard for that, bro? Stop it, man. Like, it's just, it is what it is. We all have our standards, we all have our expectations. Oh, you know fuck The sake. old school generation were onto something of arranged marriage. You didn't have all of this bullshit. Just, that's <laughs> your <fucking> wife. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come, come. That's your wife. Have said, to do it. That is you. you. Know yeah, well, you well, can well, learn to love. That's well, it. Because I've been going to gym, I've never been approached in the gym. Same. Am I clapped from? Am, am I clapped? No, am I clapped? One time have I been approached in the gym by a girl. I'm clapped. <laughs> no, no smile at, no nothing. Look. Nah, do you know what's the worst thing? I go to the gym in, in Vauxhall, them kind of bits. So you know who's showing my love. No, oh, for fuck's sake! Don't say no more. <laughs> and with that being said, uh, oh, I'll go uh, on to ask you, uh, be money. That's, that's quite interesting. That's cool. quite Bro, you lie on the bench where someone's looking through the machine like this. <laughs> no, but the gym. I'll be real. The gym's a scary place. Though. Disgusting. It's a scary place. <laughs> Because Sadam and Gamora. Because you, 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 look at, you, you look at a girl for too long. No. Hey, you're on TikTok, bro. Oh, right yeah. on, that was <laughs> funny. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I've got to laugh about that. that is, I've, <laughs> what I've enjoyed with those scenarios of the gal saying, oh, yeah, they're perving and that, is how everyone's gone, hold on a minute. You're actually doing way more than he's doing. Yeah. He's just trying to work out and you're just fucking yeah. taking up the whole them, space. Them gal are just fucked up themselves. Yeah, bro, that. you're just you're doing They're trying to come out with, look at this guy. Have you seen the one with the two gal? I think they're American. There's two of them. And everywhere they basically go, they do the same thing. Look at these guys perving on You know what's mad? I'm going to give you... And the guys are never even looking at them. I'm going to give you some mad pushback about that, yeah? Because I watched a video the other day where someone was making a joke about it. But you know what's a mad thing, yeah? So, this year, what I'm telling you is that I go to a gym where there's a lot of gay men, in it, And a lot of the gay men move mad. I'm is, that, is that your preference? You're not listening to me. No. I live in, the area that I live in has been gentrified and it's a, it's a safe harbor. Now it makes sense why it's a safe harbor. No, but I have to say, I have to say, right? It makes sense, We come from the pod. We come so, from 15 minutes away cool, from there. But I have to say, for those who don't know where we're from, I know, I'm just wondering. It's, it's almost basically new Soho, isn't it? So mm. there's a big hub, it's a big community, fair enough. Mm. So with that being said, in my gym, there's a big community. And it makes sense for men to go to the gym to meet men. It makes sense. It's basically £40 a month and you can see all the men you want in your life. And it all hedge and pumps right now. Cool, and, and in shorts and that. You get what I'm saying? So <laughs> in my, in my, but in my gym, right that now. culture, in my gym, that culture is very rich, if you wish. So my point is, sometimes it's got to the point that I, I just assume every man that looks at me when I'm in the gym is a certain way and I'll be I'll be screw facing like, why is this guy watching me? Why is he watching me? I don't know who's admiring 
my physique or who's rating my thing or who's actually thinking about me in a mad way. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, certain men are looking at me, then I see their girlfriend come. I'm like, oh shit. So what I'm saying is some of their women are bugging, mm. but they're probably so messed up by what's happened that some now a man's just looking. She's they a was, I, and I was spotting a girl who was doing bench press today. Yeah, she she's decent, whatever in it. She had she has a chest, mm. but I'm trying to spot her doing bench press. Mm. So I'm I'm trying to not look at the bar. Yeah, but you need <laughs> to look at the bar because you're spotting but her. If I look at the bar. I'm looking at her. Bar. Look at, yeah, <laughs> smart. You know, you know what I think? So Sorry, just, that's bars. <laughs> our gyms, our gyms are like bars. 10, 15 minutes apart, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I think? Sometimes I honestly think this. Do the girl that come in here think man's gay? <laughs> I swear to God, I think to myself, like, do they think we're gay? Because the, I know we're kind of close to a... The clientele that's me here. Like, Maybe so, that's why like she's not so checking girls me. coming there and think, we're gay too. Like, it's mad, bro. Like, it's mad. I like, wanted to wear a t-shirt that says, I like girls. <laughs> I'm not gay no more. <laughs> I like women's. Fuck you. I'm me. delivered. I've, I've had delivered. them thoughts still. I've had them thoughts. Nah, like, do, do girls that actually come in these gyms that mm. are close to these I kind of areas... I feel like I'm not mad now. Feel say... That no. man's gay because we come to these gyms. See, this is why <laughs> this is why conversation is important because we think about a lot of stuff in our brain, but it's funny because when we speak about it out loud, a lot of men are going, bruv, that's what I was thinking as mm. well, blood. Before we go, mm. I have to obviously touch on the fact that you're doing the bad advice yes. series yes, sir. with yourself, Be Money. Yeah. Talk about how that came about, the why bad, you wanted to start. The bad it. advice? No, it's called Bad Advice with Be Money. It's rubbish advice. Yeah. Very terrible. Terrible shit. Bro. But you should definitely check it out. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I think it's good. Yeah. I think it's yeah. going to be good. <laughs> nah, do you know what you know, bro? Even the last time I was here, I was just talking about how like, I wanted to just do something for myself. Obviously, man's been on other platforms and stuff in the past, but I just wanted to have my own thing, just as way you guys have your own thing. Mm. And um, we were even having a conversation with your previous guy, Mr. Two million subscribers like yeah. <laughs> whether you have TV. 2 million subscribers or whether you have like 200 subscribers I think at the end of the day when you have your own plant when you have your own soil you're growing your own food the it's more rewarding so now Definitely. I've been doing this thing where I've basically what bad advice is I've just been making these reels and TikToks short clips where I'm just giving my opinion or quote unquote advice on scenarios sometimes it's questions sometimes it's just stuff that I think of randomly and just give my quote unquote little speech about but on like Insta, I've only amassed a couple, maybe like 50 odd, no, that's a lie, dozens of followers on Instagram mm. and then hundreds of followers on on, on TikTok. Mm-hmm. But bro, it's more rewarding for me than anything that I've done before in terms of the media stuff because everything else I did it's was yours. under someone else's that's yours, umbrella. Man. Yeah, That's your so baby blood. When someone says to me, oh, bad advice, bro, that feels better than, oh, I saw you was on. Yeah. So yeah. Much better. Nah. And this is me editing myself in my light. Cool. Bruv, nah, man, yeah, big man. up yourself, bro. As yeah. I said it to you last Makes time sense. that I rate your thing and I rate you in it. I'm not trying to pause. I'm not trying to do no dick ride or nothing like pause, that. Man. But me personally, I also don't have an issue telling a man, right, you're doing well. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. But I do have to ask you, mm. What made you feel confident enough to be advising others on relationships? It's bad advice. <laughs> you say you're advising people, but the disclaimer is this is bad advice. Now you have to understand though. I, and it I, makes I, sense because yeah. not all relationships are the same. Yeah. Not all mm-hmm. dynamics of every argument is the same in every relationship. Mm-hmm. So you see some advice. It's definitely going to be bad mm-hmm. and it's definitely going to be good. Good advice is bad advice. You it just get depends what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Who's it depends, it. Yeah, it depends on who you're listening to. Because yeah. we're all individuals. Mm-hmm. Some advice could be good advice. Some advice could be bad advice. It might work for you. It might not work for them. I've not really done much on really. I've only done like, yeah, okay, slight, but not You've really. You've done a few. You yeah. haven't necessarily like... Touched on certain aspects like yeah. going through your phone, yeah. um, how to approach, but it's more so like the in, initiating, like the dating bit, more so the, in terms of questions I've been asked. So I haven't really touched on in, in no, a see relationship what you said, question. Yeah. Yeah. You see what you said when you said to that, when you said to that girl, like, listen, if we're going to do this, you need to try harder. I'm yeah. not really... That, one, that, was, that was real life. That wasn't even advice. That you was real. That? That was, <laughs> I feel like documenting that, like, listen bro, to what this I'm girl saying, is bro. food, bro. She's food. Why do food? you think that you must do all the everything? Because she's food but and you, she's used to it. Yeah, but you have to understand that, bro. And that, this is what I um, have. I Okay, I knew this before, but <clears throat> watching pods and watching YouTube shows, you realise it more. The longer a girl is... The less she has to. Quite, yeah, quite likely her personality is going to be dead up because mm. as she's gone through life... She just hasn't had to work on her personality. Everything mm. she's kind of got has probably 
Not all, but probably but been brother, given that's, to that's, us. That's, I think like what's, probably what's changed in life, bro. If if there's a graph, that's how the graph goes. The longer you are, the probability, the, 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 the likelihood. Less, I the get what you you're saying. I do get what you're saying. That's why. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on. That's why the ones that you said do give you an attention on play, and you're like, brother, you're fucking gruffalo. Why are you chatting to me? <laughs> that's why because. No, I'm just saying that's yeah. why because they've realized right. They, I may have, not, they need to have personality. They I may not have yeah. the tools, so I've got to actually be nice. Yeah, it's man be more said, to me. But yeah, got you. I just I ain't heard that. Like, I ain't heard that since primary school. Shout out to Gruffalo. I feel like it's it's like I don't know, man. I made a video like, of bad advice about fours in primary school. What fours? In, in school like, and that. Yeah. In school yeah. and that. Yeah. Like school days, secondary school, primary school. Like, don't get me wrong, they were lame girl, and you you know you thought like. Yeah, they think they're nice. Mm. And you know you see that. But there was also Lengyal that just Your vibes. wasn't like that. Vibes, Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But nowadays, it seems like the majority is so much more like... The, bro, like... Bro, it's just market, man. The same way... The same way you can't annoying, even buy... Though, the same way you can't even buy dunks without... Um, applying to buy shoes. Yeah. Mm. The same thing, but everything's so in high shoes. demand. Everything is in low supply and high demand. No, so no, no. Them Leng girls, and remember, we're getting older as well. So a lot of girls mm. are getting taken off the market. And mm. there's something like social media has made a lot of people's profile just go up. Well, there's so many Leng things that aren't on social media. So let's put them aside. So we might yeah, not yeah. see them. Definitely. Then, but they're getting taken out of the game. Bro, if you grew up on Ends, well, them Leng things were like pregnant by 18. A lot yeah, of them. Like, some, some of them did not make man it out. Secured that still. Yeah, some of them did not make it out. So even <laughs> being Leng was used <laughs> against them. <laughs> what the cause? <laughs> I said, I bro, it was that guy. It was the, I who ate your pie. I used to work in Carpenter <laughs> Warehouse in Brixton, yeah, and that was a survey enough for me because just the amount of girls that came in there, and I was like, "Where are you from?" They're like Brixton, I'm like you are banging. Mm. Don't think there wasn't a push chair nearby. From young one, two kids already because them older boy already yeah, from young. Already. Lay so the them, flag. That's the girl from ends. Ends. Yeah, yeah, but that's ends. ends. You can't survive in Brixton, yeah. bro. You cannot be paying. I don't care who you are. You could go church. You could be fucking. You could be a Muslim. You could be a badass. <laughs> yeah. You could be any word, word, word. But if you are nice looking in Brixton, you're getting breeded. But so you, on you, use, Instagram, up, use Instagram now. Use TikTok now. But just you're going viral because of your face. Yeah. You don't even have to open your mouth. Your face is viral, so the demand is up. It's actually crazy still. The dating market is slightly crashed. But shout out to the Passport Bros. Shout out to the OnlyFans gal them. And shout out to everyone in between. Uh, and shout out to every girl. Because there's all cool chicks out there. Like, I said that. Not forget, there's yeah, a I did cool say that. There. Like, there's a, shout out to my girl and shout out to other... Like, there's a lot of girls that are good, respectable girls that don't want the world... I- can I yeah, just I mean, say one more thing? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah, go for it. Girls are easy to twang, bro. Like, let's just stop it. Like, if we uh, want to be real about it, like, if you just want to, the, the bottom line is yes, okay, women are demanding more work, but bro, after that one, all, after that more work, yeah, after that initial heavy investment, that I, I, initial pump of investment, once you shagger, you bagger. Yeah. You shagger and bagger, bro. As long as if you if the D is good and you're half a decent human being and you can provide some of them bases, so many girls get swamped, bro. So many, so many men are Trojan horses. They come with all the Dior Trojan horse. <laughs> they have Trojan. the one bit of designer kit. They take her to That's the a Burberry Trojan horse, you know. <laughs> give her, give her the illusion of what could be. Mm-hmm. Once you chop her and she's become the most vulnerable to you mm. physically, more time the girl says, "Okay, cool, this is me." I got a question. Do you yeah? get what I'm saying? And we're gonna Same go time. around, yeah. yeah. Do you, okay, do you agree that once you have slept with a girl that you will always be able to? No. Not at all. Even if you was the best sex you ever had, no, not at all. What? I don't believe you will always be able to. You will I, be, I be, bro, girls, girls, girls can even forget okay. your sex. Yeah. I don't care how good you was. Nope. There's, there's, bro. You saying once the gal locks it off in her brain and her yeah, body, there's some girls that are yeah. yeah, there's some girls that are morally strong and they can stick to their word, yeah. mm. and some girls are kind of uh, 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 until they kind of realize, until they kind of see what the phase seat. in life was she when she slept with you. Yeah. What was mm. her mental until, until they kind of see the light, like rod. Man, they keep bragging about like who they chopped in secondary school. Off. Some girls, chop now? some girls are just bad as anyway, and they just don't know how to. Yeah, do you get what I'm saying? They just don't know how to. As soon as you touch their breast, like that's it. They're all there again. Do you get what I'm saying, bro? It depends on the girls, bro. Flip the nipple like a coin. It depends on the the, the type of girl is still mentally strong or whatever. What about if you, if she's the mother of your child? What do you think? I I, I, I I think think you should be careful with that still. I can't talk. I (laughs) I think you should be careful with that still. But I don't think you should just sleep with the mother of your child, But do you think you can always do that? Do you think the door's always on the latch? Potentially. 
Do you know? Mm. <laughs> political, political, political. Yeah, it's a mad one still. I don't know. Saying, yeah, I wouldn't know because mm. you see me. That's not really a story. Yeah, I, I, mm. I, once I'm, I'm, I've, 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 I'm gone. If you're my that's baby mum, I'm not trying to fuck with your life, man. Get and pregnant. that's what I don't like. You get me? Like, enough men do that yeah. and fuck yeah. their life up yeah. in the process. Yeah, yeah. hundred. Don't 100. try go back and fuck with your baby mother just sometimes and cut out yeah. and have your own girl and thinking she ain't gonna have some feelings towards what's going on and. Do you get what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah. them things they could cloud a whole lot of things, bro. Yeah, hundred percent. Get me, and it could mess up your life in the process. And that's the child's dead, life, bro. which is some. I don't. I don't. That's someone don't, that we all seem to. Not all of us, but a lot of us seem to forget. That me right. personally, I don't. I don't. I wouldn't do that. I don't do that. I rate that still. You get it. I'm not trying to go back there, bro. But to answer your question, <laughs> <laughs> I think more than likely the likelihood is high, especially if you're a good parent and they see that side to you because they slept with you, they had your you. And if they now see, oh, he's really doing the right things, whatever the reason you broke up, they might. I think there's more of an opening when it's the parent, child, mm. parent, you know, baby, whatever, compared to, oh, yeah, some you they slept with a few years ago. I've yeah, got a definitely, question. Definitely I've got a question, yeah. Thoughts, yeah. The term baby mum or baby dad, mm. is that a derogatory term or does it just mean what it is? Both. Go around. Sorry. No, no. Both. You said both. Context matters. What do you think? Yeah, I was just about to say, it depends on how you use it still. Okay, so like how you say it yeah. and context. context. Also, who's you speaking? Saying. Who's saying it? Okay, what do you think? I feel like personally, it's just slang, in it? It just means what it is, bro. Like, baby mum, baby dad. It, yeah, just, it means what it is. If you want to make it derogatory, then yeah, what? It come from the hood because posh people don't say it like that. Yeah, because the richer people, like... Yeah, because... It, 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 it comes from the hood, bro. What's the difference between... Mother of my child and baby mom. There ain't no there difference. No difference. Like, there is no difference. Just like, what, just like what B Money just said, still, it makes sense. It depends who says it. Yeah. Because if you hear the prime minister saying baby mother, you'd be like, brother, are you mocking the thing? <laughs> or if a white person says to you, so, <laughs> you get, so how's your baby that, mother? Or yeah. someone assumes you have a baby, baby mother. mother. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, How many know. baby moms have you got? And them type of questions. <laughs> <laughs> whereas, whereas when they talk about, yeah, no, my ex or no, yeah. their mum or his mum, yeah. they, they'll say that. So, yeah. <laughs> Personally, <laughs> no, because you know what? Do <laughs> you know what like, annoys me? When post people say that, baby, how's your baby like, mother? You can't no, that. because mm. I've you're, seen it. You're not allowed. Baby mama. Yeah, baby mama. I've seen where people be talking, they'll be like, oh, my baby, oh, sorry, I don't want to say the mother of my kid. I'm like, brother. No, but it is because the Bro. she no no she might find it offensive. That's Context, fine. Listen, so that is fine. Like, I, I used to date someone who didn't like calling sex fucking. Okay. So do you get what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. so if she doesn't, sorry, sorry, sorry. it's weird. You know it's, I was like, I know, wait, what? I know. What are you talking like, yeah, about? But you see me, I'm on a thing like where you don't like to fuck. You know you like to yeah, fuck. Yeah, but I don't like to put it that. You probably want to fuck yeah. right now. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just I'm saying. Not, like, I know some girls that say cheating is an ugly I want to rock right now. I want to rock right now. Yeah. Yeah. Rock right now. <laughs> like, why did you say fuck? Because that's what it is. But okay, but you Fucking. see, look, cheating is a slang for beating, but mm. girls don't like the word cheating. Some girls don't like the word cheating. So a girl can tell it, listen, don't be on no radio calling me your baby mum. So when he goes there, he don't want no pastor says like, sorry, the mother of my child. And I understand that. And like you said, I think the, the takeaway is context matters. If your immediate people don't like that situation of you calling them that, then cool. Yeah. But me personally, I've got to say, it doesn't, I can't really say it's a difference, bruv. BM, but I think... I would in the future just say BM if that if, if that was my yeah. story I'd just say BM because that's easier. Well, you just don't say it when they can hear it. It's like that too. It's like calling a woman a bitch. You just <laughs> in front of her. This in, anyway. <laughs> look, um, two Nigel boys over there, two Jamal boys boys over here. I don't even call myself Jamal. I don't know why I said that. But <laughs> with that being said, that's derogatory <laughs> from yeah. Word word word. I would take. I would I would take Yardi before I take Jamal. Can we just thing. quickly address that, yeah? And I'm not even neither. Can we just quickly address I'm that? I remember Jamaican. there was a day on Twitter when that went off. Who the oh, hell, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who the hell told Jamaicans that Jamal is derogatory? No, because from, from my experience watching certain podcasts, we know who they are. Not, no need to say names. Okay. Sometimes. I don't know who they are. Who are they? You probably no, okay, do. Okay, okay, okay. I was, gonna, I, was, I was gonna do. <laughs> little, no, 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 just, mine's just through dating fucking African. Wait, so let me ask you a question. That's yeah? where mine's come from. When so, the mother and the father are talking about Jamo, that Jamo boy. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you get yeah, what but I'm that's, saying? That's their impression of you being Jamaican has got nothing to do with the terminology of Jamo. Let me ask you a question. Go on. Because am I being derogatory to Nigerians when I say Niger? 
when I no, say No, because I, I no, always call you like Nigel. It's just, it's just short like, for the... No, 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 no you, 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 you're, you're, you're bannering. You don't you get what I'm saying? Because to me, it's, it's not... No, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Yeah, no, but there's, there's some a people that really... Yeah, no, there is. People, some Jamaicans think that is a mad thing that we say, but I've never... I don't... Okay, I'm just speaking for myself. Of course. I don't necessarily think we've... Jamaicans. A lot of us think it's mad, but we kind of feel like it's a little slight in it's a atta- way. Yeah, attached to it. No. Yeah, it's like a, like a little slight. But I'm, I'm, I'm a person that I don't take many Let me tell you something, yeah. Back in the day, being Jamaican was the insult, full stop. It doesn't matter whether you're Jamo, Jamaican or Jam. Oh, yeah, if you were from the Caribbean, <laughs> there's a perception that... Don't hang out with those Jamaican boys. Smoke weed don't, every day. Yeah, don't, they smoke weed. Don't do cane rolls. Don't yeah. do... I don't said don't do cane rolls. I don't get a meal, bro. And it was crazy. You look like a longer head than us now. I'm cool my and brethren. That's yeah, mad. I'm cool him and say, yo, brother, you're at home. Remember, yeah, I'm at home. All right, cool. You know how, how it was, bro. Like, we growing up with opposite Dimitri. blocks. Yeah, yeah, well. I would go to his yard, knock the door. His mum would answer the door and tell me straight to my face, he ain't here. Yeah. I just spoke to homie in yeah. his bedroom. You know, it got to a point where I said that. I just spoke to I him said, still, He's so not coming even out. Even he's there. Yeah. He even got I, to a point. I, you know, I tried my best yeah, not to be politely, rude. yeah, but yeah. Like, I said, no, no, I, th- I think he's there. I just spoke to him on his phone. <laughs> but remember, they are being taught... It's the same way Indians or Asians are taught, hey, the black boys in London. Yeah, 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 or even, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. so mad now, now it's not Jamaican, now it's not Nigerian. It's... Like in Nigeria, they're told, hey, these in it, in it boys, we're all in it, in it boys, they'll stab yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once upon a time... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In it, in it boys. Yeah. So once upon a time, it was, hey, in London, the Jamaican kids are gangsters. Mm. Be careful. Now it's, huh, in it, in it boys. All mm. of them are together. London boys will stab you. So it's it's not about Jamaican or nothing. Jerry, now... That's it, yeah. in it boys. What are you going to say, you man? You said no, it got to a say, point. I was going to say, it got to a point where my parents didn't want me hanging around with Jamaica. Jamaican so much that you know how your side of the estate mm. is basically yardy duff, isn't it? <laughs> you know, fuck me. Yeah. He's just I was, being honest. How so, are your people talking about that? He's being honest. Like, we let him tell his story, <laughs> innit? <laughs> Brother, our block is not Jamaican. No, <laughs> no, no but obviously your side, yeah, your, your side. Saying, yeah. Yeah. Bro, I don't know that influence going yeah, on. Yeah, from, yeah, yeah, there was, there was, was your side. I went there wasn't, bro. My mum was whipping in the kitchen. I went around them sides, bro. I went around, I went allowed around them sides, bro. Yeah, and Our piece was hella bad. I had to go to the left. I know the man who sing. Feds used to only come to our piece. 100%. I, I've never 100%. seen Feds anyway. We're not we're not gonna get into that. But I've never no, seen I Feds have, really pop up. They don't they don't stay there. Nah, they, they never do. They don't bro. chill. Nah, they just they're little. But, and, and the that's not where the undesirables were. The difference the difference is with with with, <laughs> with, with, with E-Man's <laughs> piece and our piece. Hmm. They just come here for no reason. To Bruv, man, they, they don't never come to your piece for no reason. Just hang around. Now they bake off outside the block. Yeah, now they just come and chill, bro. Us, brother. Feds, sorry, Pablo. You have to sorry, question sorry, Pablo. Like, brother. No, you have to question for like friends, like, don't like, like police officers. Like, there's doing, no yeah. badness happening around here anymore. Look, but it's like, funny this was like seven, eight, nine years ago. Mm. Cool, it was famous, but nowadays you're still coming Vacant, around fam. and doing the. The intimidating thing, intimidation thing. I mean, there's nothing but it's kids around here now. Mm. It's the, it's and I'm the talking old about toddlers. Rounds. I'm not talking about kids that are beginning to do kids, bad things. I'm talking about toddlers, bro. Yeah. I'm saying that's nuts. You're like just harassing the ends. Long story short. Now my mom loves Jamaicans. Mm. <laughs> Jamaicans. Listen, before we leave, <laughs> actually, Jamaicans. Unlearn, unlearn, unlearn ignorance. Wait, yeah, and I think wait, wait, I think wait, that goes both ways. Before as we well. leave as Definitely. well, I just want to say big up the um I'm just, sorry, 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 the sorry. Haitian, the Haitian, the ha- Haiti, Haitian women's football team. Mm. They just qualified for 2023. World Cup for the first time in their that. life. Jeez, so shout big out, up to Haiti. Well done, shout well out done, big up to Haiti. You're going to get smoked, but well done, man. Haiti. <laughs> Haiti. I, I don't know what else they got going on. I can't. <laughs> not a lot, not a lot of great stuff. Else. Not a lot of great stuff. I'll tell you that. that country, bro. No, that's, 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 that's big gorgeous. for them because... Yeah, women are nice and that. Well, what did they say? Saba say? Is that what they say? Actually, for skanking them and that. Remember what happened to that country? 9 one That's actually big for them, bro. The earthquake and them thing. For that black. You was going to say... What was you going to say? Oh, I was gonna say it's so funny. Growing up, my dad used to listen to Bob Marley as well, but he wants me to stay away from the. I but white people did the same thing though. Like they listen um, to Joe. Go they to love Jamaica, the art. They, they love a bit of reggae, but and a lot of and a Jamaican sausage yeah, yeah, as well. But we'll stay away from them. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, Can't come in the club or listen yeah. to music. <laughs> With that being said, uh, before we leave, sick pod, this is what we do, bro. You can't talk on man's name. MTTE podcast every time. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and all the rest of it. Please, please comment so you, YouTube knows we're not random bozos. Have to let you know. Before we go, two Niger boys, two Jamaican news. I've got to ask, Diaspora Wars. What what the fuck? What the like, fuck is that? I was just about to say what the fuck Africans is Africans versus Caribbeans. Then even within that, 
Jamaicans versus bloody Barbados and, and Barbados and Guyana. And, That's an and, award show. No, no, no. It's a, it's a war. <laughs> Is it, I'll, I'll, be so, no. I'll be so I'll be so I like, thought it was an award show no sure. diaspora <laughs> wars that's what it's called oh where, wars I yeah we're basically okay. we're all awards. Awards. no that's, an award that's, show, right. this that's when you know you're getting too ham speaking too rapid and I thought B Money was talking fast but clearly I was talking Bro, too fast you need fast. to clip that, that was... yeah, I do I do Man said, that's an award there's an award for beef in each other oh, no, that's my specialty that's my specialty no but listen what 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 do you lot see from you lot's perspective? You as well, yeah? Why, even till this day, 2023, there's still this bollocks of some underlying tension of Africans versus Caribbeans, Caribbeans infighting, Africans infighting. What, what the fuck's this all about? There's men versus women. There's white versus black. There's gay versus straight. There's religious. There's always going to be some sort of tribalism. Some sort of Divi- division. Is it divisism or divisism? Well, division. No, or division where whatever. There's always going to be something and it's always going to find something. But with football, bro, look at how people move. Like to the point mm. that some fans link up and fight. United! Yeah, but they link up and fight. Man City, Man United, like that kind of rivalry. Bro, people always talk about people can't stick together. Countries like... Ireland, countries like mm-hmm. Korea are divided into two. Yeah. So there's true, always going to be differences. Like but we're just different that, tribes. That's all. Yeah. That Kumbaya Namaste shit is air, bro. We just got different tribal, cultural ways of yeah. doing things and living and thinking and that, bro. You have to understand, like, even when, like, <laughs> you have, if you read up about was loaded, you know, even was loaded. If you read up about man's bloodline, you have to understand that even yard man's bloodline in yard, we were the unruly fucking. Get me people yeah, or something. Now, now you know why the police was on your block. You get what I'm saying, fam. So guy, this is this is what happened, fam. Ooh, I'm not unruly anyway. You get it. Yeah. Now we're this in guy's yard. The I know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I don't know if you remember. Um, I think it's all love nowadays. It, it never used to. Oh yeah, yeah. Be. Back in the days, back in the days, it, it was it, it, it was real like it, it was still. a mad thing still. <laughs> like you, ew, you're African. Yeah, it was peak still. I back always in the got day. love from Jamaican girls. I got more love from Jamaican girls than Nigerian girls. So shout out to Jamaica, man. Mm, true. <laughs> Guys, I would say. But I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> Like remember back in remember like two two three years ago there was um, Vibes, Cartel, Vibes Cartel versus versus Wizkid. Oh yeah, the, the, the hits. Oh. I don't Wizkid, mind. Like, the King of like, Vibes Cartel that, would win. Like no. I don't mind that. Let's be honest, Vibes Cartel yeah. would win. Oh no no no. Nah, I don't know about that. But um, bro, I'm not. Nah. Yeah, I'm not him. debating you. Um, I'm just telling, bro, that too. <laughs> you see, <I'm> like, <laughs> if he didn't win, he would shoot him. So, but listen, yeah, do you know like stuff like that doesn't matter. I don't mind trivial stuff like that. I think as long as they're ignorance and even all that kind of stuff makes people learn about each other. So sometimes, yeah, hundred. Sometimes you need the culture clash. Yes, hundred percent. To, to, even to, to celebrate it yeah, yeah. over the years, though, yeah, the yeah. culture clashes so much has bring us together. Like, raw, yeah. why, Word, why, bro. why is it like? It's like why? I think it's. It? I think it's a little bit poetic that we did have AJ TV on. Yeah, there, who is who half also half Nigerian. Yeah, yeah, so I think it's poetic. But go to. Oh, I lost my train of thought. That's all right. I just, <laughs> but, um, I just have to finish off with them points there. But go to, go to, go to. Yeah, I've lost it, man. Nah, so you you asking me? Do you remember back in the day? But long story short. I think oh, yeah, I said that bit already, but yeah. You didn't I even for- say it back in the day, but you know, you lost that no. one as well. You missed it. It's cool, don't worry, man. It's cool, man. Nigeria and Jamaica, <laughs> one love. Yeah, man. Oh no, you're saying back in the day it used to be like genuine beef, but now it's not genuine beef. It's kind of more play play. That's what you're saying, no? No. It's banter. Ish. He don't even know what you say. No, no, no. I'm trying to recap his point for you. I do. I do. Listen, man. We got we got Tem. We got Shen Siya. That's it. We got Shen Yang. We got Tem's. It's cool, man. Who do you think? 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 Wait, let's not forget Jay the Kingdom as well. Nah, Jay the Kingdom, she's been let me be quiet. Um, Shensia, but I'm watching her cook, cook on TikTok, bro. I've never been so turned on in my life, bro. She should be cooking and talking mad low, like, ah, Shensia, Thames. Well, Shensia, oh, Thames. Bro, Shensia, Thames. 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 Shensia
just said that we don't I, like Thames, bro. I follow Thames, bro. Nah. You follow Thames? But, like, you know, Shensi. you follow, follow Thames or you follow... I know who Shensi is. I was watching a thing the other day. I see a thing with three of them. Shensi, Thames... What's her name? Shensi... No, it weren't I was watching Deep Fake Zonals. It was Shensi... It was uh, what's her name? Bro, Shensia, bro. The English thing. The Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. Steph. Oh, Steph, Steph London. London. Oh, oh. Well, like and Thames. And Thames. Yeah. No, it weren't. No, Thames I weren't think they linked up. Thames they linked up in Thames America. On it. it was just a oh. thing like, it was oh. a thing like, who do you think's the best? Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. All four of their tunes, innit? At music. Oh, come off it. Steph. Uh, I play, mm. no, I prefer Shenzi. Yes, no. I think Thames. No, you know what? Thames is probably. No, but Thames wasn't on it. But you know what? Shenzia went. Yeah. No, no, that's Steph. That's what introduced me to her. So it, it doesn't really tell yeah, who's better, it. but on that particular freestyle, hold on, she was better. What are you saying, Rod? Don't leave don't me hanging. What are you saying? <laughs> hold on. Um, what, Ice Spice? What about? Oh, yeah. Bro, she's even Nigerian as well. What? Shut up. She's Dominican Republic. Don't even attempt it, bro. Don't even attempt it, bro. Don't let me find <laughs> it. Find it now. She said she's find Dominican it now. and Nigerian, bro. Find it now where she says she's I Nigerian. Call, Why don't you just talk about Nigerian, bro? <laughs> I, think, I think Jamaicans get along better with Ghanaians still. Oh, no, yeah, one kinda, same, I, no one cares about Nigerians. No one cares about Ghanaians, man. I do find that no one cares. Attractive without that like thing here. Curly. Yeah, it reminds me of um the the in Powerpuff Girls the um the the oh mayors, no. the mayors, what do um, we have here? Oh assistant. shit! Yeah. Bruh. What do we have here? She oh, reveals she's Nigerian and Dominican. Damn. What does she I say? Think it? You owe me an apology. Does no, she no, say I'm, it? It's apparently it says Ice Spice re- yeah reveals that. Bruv, she's you're showing me an article. I want I want to hear her say it, bro. Oh, not just what? a random article. That's, a, that ain't proof. Obviously, That's not proof. I'm not really sure. I'm on that no more. Man. Huh? You say <laughs> just lost it. Nice. Yeah. You said <laughs> the mystique is gone. She's Look, cute though. She's cute. No, she's cool, man. Voice. That, that I, w- I watched question. when I watched a little um, interview. Like she seemed like I feel like when it comes to girls as well, when you listen to them talk and you can see that they they're more than obviously what they look. Yeah, yeah. that kind of adds to them as well. Like, she interviews well. Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. She well. Brother, I didn't know that girl was Benzino's daughter. Oh, Quay Quay Ray. Ray. I think she's really cute, man. And I <laughs> hope she never gets surgery. She's she mocking she it. Pretty, she said it on no jumper famous. as well. I hope she never gets surgery. Huh? Nah, she I said just, it on no jumper as well. A bit more weight. If if anything, if I'm gonna look at her and say right, she's nice. No, she's no cute. Though. I, forget, I think I think her face, else. She's her a cute face girl. is her face she's, is yeah, she's, she's pretty. pretty. She's a yeah. pretty girl, but I think she's skinny as hell. She man. is, but that's her body type, right, man. It. Yeah, that's her. That's I hope her she thing. never gets surgery. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, she's definitely. Looks the same way over here. I look. hope never Nella Rose never gets surgery because like look at what some of our UK female rappers went and did to themselves. Listen, no, on was. that note, mm. we will leave it there. Mm-hmm. Shout out to all the beautiful natural women out there. Fuck all the fucking um, uh, doctors that do this nonsense. She tweeted it. All right, is that, cool. is that good enough? For yes, you? it's good enough. Cool. You can, yeah, you can claim. Uh, like, no, no, but no, 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 no. I didn't believe him. I didn't wait, believe him. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't believe him. I didn't believe him. Provided. But he's got right, proof. Before you end your point, I spice or Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose Ruby every Rose day of the week, day, bro. bro. What are you on about? That sex appeal is dis- it's out of You're this world, about, bro. She does too much. They both do too much, man. Put your niash away for a week. No, nah, but bro. obviously, I'm just but going off. Ice Spice put you know my favourite content from influencers? <laughs> when they go Dubai and wear the fucking hijab and burqa, bro. So Sorry for saying fucking. But when they... Because <laughs> I know y'all be serious about your shit, right? <laughs> but when they go like Dubai and they go to the Taj Mahal... The Taj Mahal... And, and they Taj- wear... What was you going to say? What was you going to say? It's not the same country. I was going to say it like... It's Burj Khalifa, no? Different flights. I was trying to mix the Where is Taj Mahal? India. India. But anyway, when they go to... Sorry! When they go to Arab countries... Name three countries. And they just covered up as long as I can actually appreciate... It makes me appreciate the actual beauty. Like, I love... done that. I love... You see when they hijab... Oh, pop yeah. up on my explore page and it's just their makeup I'm just like I could appreciate you I'd have to look at your niash nothing they're nice thank you listen the, yeah. that's where you really you really get to see their beauty still. shout out to the shout out to the Akis out there they were kind of on something about covering up because... and the saltfish is too right Jamaican <laughs> I see what you did yeah. there. You can't, you can't see, make him come back. You still. thought you my ones there. were bad. B Money's on. I don't mind this, man. It's oh, team, team Nigel, man. Team Nigel, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Look, we're going to end the pod there. Another episode. I think slightly, I'm going to put it out there while we're on cam. B Money, you might have to pull up a bit more regular. I'd love to. Personally, I do feel like the chemistry makes sense. Innit? Shout out to you lot in this new studio. This is nice, bro. Yeah, we try First stuff. You're not trying to set me up. No, we try <laughs> stuff. You know. I was like, these niggas are not here. No, they the door. It's like, oh. You said he thought he was recording like that. <laughs> when I came three years ago, I saw the lights. I was like, oh, these niggas don't care. <laughs> I was like, I saw a they got 
was yeah. making <laughs> sitting down observing. I was like, yo. No, man, we yeah, do, we, we're it, trying man. to elevate, man. We're always trying to elevate. Well done. Shout well out done. to Saltbox. Shout out to the whole team. Shout out to Benga. Shout out to Corriday. Shout out to time. B-Money. Shout out to girls who use soap for their box. Actually, you're not supposed to do that. That's you're bad. not you supposed to do that. That's very bad advice. But shout out to them. But shout out to them, no. Yeah, shout out to them because you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, okay. Shout out to them. Um, look, another episode in the bag. More on the way. If you want someone on the pod that we may be able to get, I guess tag us and tag them. I don't know, bruv. I'm just out of freestyling blood. Episode 57. Slit. We're gone. Bullet. Bullet. <laughs>